What's so beautiful about it is it's so relaxed and it's so easy and it's so natural. Uh, I remember Gary and I were in Mexico a while back. Uh, I think Jennifer Haley had invited us down and we were having a nice lunch and, and uh, Gary was saying, I s I'm so grateful just to be able to have a lunch with you and just have a natural conversation. And he's talking about the Boston Red Sox and, and his life, you know, playing guitar and all these things, the passions, the passions, we've lived passionate lives. We have to let that come out. That's a part of the window dressing <laughs> and the Spirit can use that. The Spirit, you know, we didn't come together and just om uh, for the whole uh, hour and a half. We enjoyed the meal, we enjoyed each other's company. You know, let's enjoy every holy encounter in a in a natural way, and letting it come across. You know, because um, I remember growing up and and hearing stories of Course in Miracles groups where people would get into an argument, and instead of the one where Bill ripping out the page, it was like ending with "I'm not here, and you're not here, and we're not having this conversation." And I used to think, "Oh God." <laughs> Talk about a top-down, <laughs> where Jesus is always bottom-up. He's using all of the egoic passions, all of the egoic thoughts and structures, all of the egoic wants and desires, and he's saying, I got it. You know, I want you to have some fun. I know that you have an ego pattern that has to be undone, and he says, and I know the best way to do it. And it's through fun, it's through joy, it's through happiness. It's not through like asceticism of going out and, f and Jesus talks about some of those in the I need do nothing section, fighting against sin. You know, it doesn't sound actually like a very fun life. <laughs> if you're fighting against sin every day, wow. And, and he says, your way will be different. A holy relationship is given you as the means of awakening. Well, here we are. This is our holy relationship. And and then he even goes so far as to s describe what a holy relationship is, because he never leaves you hanging. He says, you and your brother are together. And that's still a way of talking about the oneness in terms of duality. You and your brother are together. Let's be happy together. Let's be joyful together. Let's sing a happy song. Soon we'll have be sa having a happy dance. <laughs> uh, to me, it's so practical, but it's so natural. And I loved years ago in the 1990s when um, I would go to one of my students' house and, and I would be there and everything. And uh, and uh, one student was raised Catholic. She was in the course, and her her husband was Jewish and. And uh, he was kind of like on the periphery, like like listening to everything that was being said, and, and very orthodox Jew, coming closer and closer, feeling all the love, and just it's so expired. And then he'd say to me, uh, David, come in and watch this basketball game with me. And I'd say, okay. And we'd go, and we'd be sitting on the couch, and the, the other students would be like, how could you go to this guy's house and watch a basketball game with, <laughs> he's not even a course student, he's Jewish and all this stuff and everything. And I'm like, and then and they then they said, and how can you treat his wife so different? You have these deep probing kind of conversations with her, like it's everything. And I said, you know, it's it's all involuntary. It's just that she has all these questions, and he has questions too, and he asks them at his own rate, and, and he comes to me, and we have fun sitting there laughing, watching a basketball game, and joy. It's about sharing the joy. It's not about the metaphysics. We don't need to be having deep metaphysical conversations. And uh, as Gary and, and John and James know, when you travel a lot, you're, you're not meeting people that are interested on the road all over the place. You don't go into restaurants and, okay, I was pondering if time is real or not, you know. The waitresses don't come up with that. You have so many opportunities to let the Spirit pour through you in a natural way, of being friendly, being kind, like Ken 
was, and and doing it in numerous uh, situations that you can't even imagine, and letting them all be orchestrated by Jesus. So, so there's an ease about it. It's not an awkward thing. You're not trying to promote a thought system. You're trying to live a thought system. Sharing the joy, shining the light, singing the blessed, soaring in Christ, sharing the peace, shining.